challenges and everything else. So you are going to depend on everybody in this room. Um, make sure you're practicing your Well, thank you guys so much. Um, How it's difficult for your parents when Mr. and Mrs. Smith down the street, you block their parenting rules and the same social media device. Their, their goalposts are totally different than ours as a family. So you're a Chelsea fan. So the hotel being next to the Chelsea Global Cup is quite a big deal for you. He 
the acts listed in this judgment are prime examples of what happens when the power of the press is abused. I respectfully call upon the authorities, the financial regulator, the stock market who were deliberately deceived by Mirror Group, and indeed the Metropolitan Police and prosecuting authorities to do their duty for the British public and to investigate bringing charges against the company and those who have broken the law. The court has in fact confirmed that all four claimants were subjected to voicemail interception and unlawful information gathering, but no one would have believed that was the case given how this trial was covered in the UK. My commitment to seeing this case through is based on my belief in our need and collective right to a free and honest press, and one which is properly accountable when necessary. That is what we need in Britain and across the globe. Anything else is poisoning the well for a profession we all depend on. The journey to justice can be a slow and painful one, and since bringing my claim almost five years ago, defamatory stories and intimidating tactics have been deployed against me and at my family's expense. And so, as I too have learnt through this process, patience is in fact a virtue, especially in the face of vendetta journalism. I hope that the court's findings will serve as a warning to all media organisations who have employed these practices and then similarly lied about them. And editors such as Piers Morgan clearly knew about or were involved in these illegal activities. Between them, they even went as far as lying under oath to Parliament during the Leveson inquiry, to the Stock Exchange and to us all ever since. Today's ruling is vindicating and affirming. I've been told that slaying dragons will get you burned, but in light of today's victory and the importance of what is doing what is needed for a free and honest press, it is a worthwhile price to pay. The mission continues. Thank you very much.